Hey, this is Jeremy from Production Den. So glad to have you with me on the channel today. Today we're going to be talking about installing contact libraries so that you can use them in your songs. We'll be covering installing the native contact libraries as well as third-party contact libraries. When you're starting to work with new sounds like the package that comes from native instruments in the complete free, it can seem a little bit daunting because there's so many different things that you have to install and so many things that you have to work through to figure out how to get it set up to actually use it in your song productions. So after we walk through this today, hopefully you'll feel confident in installing the native access factory libraries, as well as installing a third party contact library that you can use in your song production. But before we jump in, I'd love for you to subscribe to the channel if you aren't already, because every week we put out new content around music production for songwriters and producers. Let's jump in. So double click to open up native access. And sometimes when you do that, you'll notice that there are updates that need to be performed. Just go ahead and let that go through the process. And once you do that, it'll bring you to a window that shows you the installed plugins as well as the not installed plugins. So when you get to this initial screen in Native Access, you'll look up here at this top left side and you're gonna go right here where it says not installed. So let me show you the ones that are actually contact libraries. So this Kinetic Treats is a contact library. This Contact Factory Selections is a factory library or is a library as well as this Play Series Selection. So those are all contact libraries so you're going to want to install it The next thing that we're going to talk about is installing a third party contact library. I'm going to be using Project Sam the Free Orchestra library that they offer through their website. Go to Google, type in Project Sam Free Orchestra, click on the link and it will take you to a page and it'll have an option that says log in to get it now. If you click on that button, it'll take you to a page where you can log in if you already have a Project Sam account or you can register for a Project Sam account if you don't have one yet. So I'm gonna have to register. And once that's complete, it will let me download the installer for Project Sam. And the installer is separate from the actual library that we'll be installing. So it's kind of like native access where you get to download the products from Project Sam. And once that's complete, I can open it up and log into the account that I just created through Project Sam. So you'll put in your email address and the password that you just created. So when you get into the Project Sam installer, you should see the free orchestra library available for download. So we're gonna click to download that, make sure that you read the terms of agreement and agree to those and go ahead and click download. I think you have to choose this location that you want to download the file to. I chose my downloads folder. And once that was completed, I went ahead and opened up that zip file and I copied that folder that had the Project Sam Free Orchestra library. And then I took that library and copied it into a directory where my other free contact libraries already were. Then I need to go back to Native Access and I'm going to click Add Serial Number at the top. And then I will go back over to my account on the Project Sam website, copy the serial number that was given for that free orchestra, go back to Native Access, paste that in, and then say OK. And then the library should show up in Native Access for you to be able to install it. To install it, you need to locate where you put the library at on your computer. So I navigate back to that place that I installed the library. I show Native Access where that library is located, and then it should be able to install it. 
So now we've installed a couple of the libraries from Native Instruments as well as a third party library from Project Sam. Now when we open up FL Studio and load in the contact instrument, you should see the libraries that you downloaded and installed. And in my case, I have the Kinetic Library, the Contact Factory Selections, and the Project Sam Free Orchestra library loaded into Contact now. If you want to load multiple instruments into Contact and have those routed out to their own individual mixer tracks, I have another video that will show you how to do that. And I'll leave the link to that in the description below. Hopefully it was helpful for you to be able to see which items in Native Access are actually contact libraries to install a few of those factory libraries as well as a third party library from Project Sam. I'm always looking for new sounds, so if you have any suggestions for contact libraries that you love or use regularly, leave those in the comment section below and I will see you in the next round.